Oke. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB to order upload job files from your computer after checking the details and price on the next page save to cart and then check out securely also every customer will get dollar seven and dollar eight free engineering fee for SMT assembly orders hi guys welcome back to my channel mr electron and in this video i'm going to uh, teach you how to generate electricity from this type of car alternator now i got this from a scrap market and it was in a pretty good condition as you can see it's black in color and it is running really smooth and guys it's running so smooth that uh, I even thought that uh, the brushes might have been worn off it's like that uh, there is uh, no friction between the slip rings and the brushes at all you can see how smooth uh, the movement of the shaft is with one finger little friction and it is running so guys this is the back view of the alternator these two are the brush terminals as always and uh, this is the place where the slip rings are and it is covered in the case this is the uh, socket for ignition and this is the main positive terminal of this alternator where the output positive appears on this and the output negative is the entire body of the alternator as i told you in uh, many of my previous videos now this alternator is from ascent car uh, the person someone who owned the car this alternator wrote it on this alternator as you can see the brand name valio v-a-l-e-o so yeah that's it about uh, the back view this is the rectifier the voltage regulator and all now comes the winding and uh, the label of this alternator that defines how much uh, the voltage output voltage and how much the current is so guys you can see that uh, the copper wires are uh, really nice and uh, thick of course and uh, that's the close-up for the two brush terminals this upper one and this lower one one more interesting thing guys here as you can see that uh, double cables have been used as one for more current two from here and two from uh, the other side making it as one and in a much proper way and the same for all the three wires coming from the R major in the form of three phase star connection so guys this is the cover for the back of the alternator that I got with it although I opened this up uh, yesterday when I was uh, working on this alternator to see how much current or voltage it was generating uh, I would like to show you the label printed on it you see 13.5 volts 90 amperes yeah, it can easily charge any available car battery or even a truck battery 90 amperes is too much now guys i'm going to tell you how to convert it into a working generator and charge your car batteries with it from the start so the first process is to take the back cover off so uh, initially the back cover was held with these nuts so now i'm not going to place the nuts back you get it right uh, the nuts are here you have to open it and then remove uh, the back cover and it's like this okay after that there are two parts armature winding and uh, the rotor winding rotor or field winding you can also say field winding now guys as i have already told you that these two are the brush terminals now the upper terminal is in direct connection with the negative body of the alternator like this bolt this bolt these all are negative even this body this is in short circuit connection with the upper bolt so uh, no tapping needs to be given uh, to the upper terminal of the brush all you need to do is solder a wire to the lower terminal and uh, to activate the rotor the second terminal is going to be the body of the alternator which will activate this terminal it is connected internally the body of the alternator to the upper terminal okay so guys now i'm going to give this green wire tapping on uh, the lower brush terminal yeah you can see that it is stuck pretty good and no connection needs to be given on the upper terminal of the brush because it is in direct short circuit connection with the body of the alternator okay so guys this alternator is almost ready to be used as a generator so let's place everything like this placing the back cover
ओके सो गाइज नाउ एम गोइंग टू टेस्ट दिस ऑल्टरनेटर बाय रनिंग दिस कार हेडलैम्प बल्ब सिक्सटी फाइव वॉट्स ओके सो गाइज नाउ कम्स द कनेक्शन ऑफ द लोड टू द ऑल्टरनेटर सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज टेक एनी ऑफ द लोड टर्मिनल if positive and negative does not matters for that load and go for b positive this is the positive main output terminal and keep it held with a clip with that being done take the other clip and the other terminal and connect it either to the body of the alternator or uh, one of the terminals other than the positive one like i can connect it here or i can connect here let's connect it here so this is connected now the output has been connected now comes the part where i will have to excite the rotor winding for which i soldered this wire uh, for exciting the rotor winding of this alternator i am going to use this lithium ion battery pack now the output from this battery pack is only 3.7 volts which can glow this bulb but not uh, to its full illuminance because the voltage is not much even though the current is high so keeping it like this now guys we already know that the body of the alternator is negative and this open terminal from the battery is also negative so negative will be connected to the body of the alternator being negative now let's connect it like this and the positive wire which is this green for the brush will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery yeah you see the spark this means the connection has been established so guys now that everything is in place it's time to do some rope rotation so let's place the alternator a little backwards wound the thread so guys the thread has been wound now it's time to connect the rotor winding now when i will pull the thread you should see this 60 watts bulb glow okay keep watching the screen wow now let's turn off the light and do this test again so guys all the lights have been turned off except for the minor led light that i use for these kinds of tests well now you should see the proper illuminance okay wow you saw that it glowed to its full illuminance Now guys although you saw uh, it run at a pretty good potential output but there was one issue that a rotor is actually being excited right now also with this 3.7 volts pack which results in more rpm uh, to attain 12 volts with an input of just 3 volts so to get higher output voltage at lower rpm there is another scenario Okay so guys I have removed the bulb and I have connected this multimeter to measure the generated voltage and generated current by this alternator okay pointing it towards 20 volts dc mode okay the rotor winding has already been excited with the same 3.7 volts battery pack now uh, let's wound the thread and see how much voltage I can get over here okay positive has been connected negative has been connected to this negative of the battery is here positive here yeah let's see how much it generates you can see that i easily generated around 10.2 volts let's go a little harder on it and see how much more i can generate okay yeah so it was same somewhere around 9 to 10 volts now comes the current generation so for current testing this red terminal will go over here and the pointer will come to 10 ampere current measurement mode let's see hand rotation current you see hand generation is 1.2 amps 1.3 Yeah, it's slipping a little bit because it is oily. So let's do the rope rotation for better current measurement. Okay, guys, keep watching the display screen of the multimeter. Whoa, was it nine amperes? Yeah, let me recheck the video. 
so guys as you saw that the excitation voltage was just 3.7 volts and with that rotor excitation the current was around 9 amperes a little more than 9 amperes that's too high you can see that it can measure only up to 10 amperes after which the fuse will break so that was pretty close now i'm going to give one more try second try okay so guys keep watching the display screen 8.13 amps so guys that was actually 9.19 in the first and in the second it was 8.13 so it is easily generating really high current which is pretty good for charging car batteries or any other type of battery testing was really nice so guys in my previous videos you might have seen my uh, electric exercise bicycle so i have connected this dc motor pmdc motor 24 volts and uh, 20 amperes but the thing is uh, that uh, the current is not much and uh, there is a lot of cogging when i connect a uh, load to it so i need even higher current now although it is working pretty good right now but i'm considering to replace this motor with the alternator that i just tested because its current capability is much higher than this one you can see here i've connected uh, this 65 watts car headlamp bulb i will glow and test it for you so now i'm going to run the bicycle so guys as you saw that the bulb was glowing uh, but the current taken by the bulb was somewhere around 6 to 7 amperes but i need even higher current for charging a battery so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this motor and replace it with the car alternator that i just showed you so stay connected for the part 2 video